Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Food and Makeup Lover Malika. Today I'm gonna show you how to make paneer chili. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here I've taken chopped onions, fresh ginger and garlic, capsicum, tomatoes and chilies. So in a bowl, I have taken 2 spoon of maida and 2 spoon of cornstarch and to this I am adding 2 spoon of water. We have to use very less water because the consistency of this puree should be very thick. Then mix them well. Now put paneer cube in this puree. Cover the paneer with this puree like this. In the same manner, cover all the paneer with this puree. So first, oil to be heated and to this I am adding paneer cubes which I have covered with cornstarch and maida puree fry all the paneer until it turns into golden color from both the sides Now turn the paneer cubes and let it cook from another side. So as you can see paneer cubes are golden brown in color that means it has cooked properly so now I'm going to take them out. As you can see paneer is fried well. So first oil is to be heated and to this I'm adding chopped ginger and garlic. Well, and again to this I'm adding chopped chilies again mixing them well and then chopped onions then mix them well and to this I'm adding capsicum now fry it for 10 to uh, 15 minutes until uh, vegetables are cooked properly so after 5 minutes I'm adding chopped tomatoes And again fry it for 5 to 10 minutes until tomatoes are cooked properly so after 10 minutes I'm adding coriander powder and one more spoon of coriander powder chili powder one more spoon of chili powder turmeric powder and then mix them well so spices are cooked properly now to this I'm adding soy sauce tomato sauce
and then chili sauce. And then mix them well. Again cook it for 2 minutes. To this I'm adding salt to taste. I'm adding very little amount of salt because soya sauce already contains some salt. So now again mix them well. As you can see that it's cooked properly. So to this now I'm going to add paneer cubes that I have fried earlier with maida and cornstarch puree. Now mix them well. So as you can see our paneer chili is ready. If you want dry paneer chili then you can leave it like this. But I like gravy so here I'm adding a cornstarch puree. So here I've added cornstarch puree. Then again I'm mixing them well, cook it for 2 minutes and then your paneer chili is ready. So after 2 minutes as you can see our paneer chili is ready. It's looking so delicious you should must try this at your home. Thank you for watching my channel Food and Makeup Lava Malika. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and do share with your friends. Thank you.